you guys what is up it is ivy concrete catwalk those of you who are new to my channel welcome i love all things thrift vintage new nearly new estate sailing sailing you name it i love it to my catwalk as well. welcome back to a new video this sunday those of you who are newly subscribed thank you so much for coming along together on this journey before we get into the run don't walks and the sidebar conversation i want to remind you i am doing a giveaway if you tune in every sunday but you have not subscribed to my channel you have not dropped a like you have not left a comment you are missing out on the potential of winning these two gorgeous 19. I wanted to show these to you guys one last time in case this is your first time tuning in or you're returning but you haven't subscribed, you haven't left a comment. Let me just make this real clear. When I do giveaways, it is quite very, very simple. I don't ask you to go all over the place and follow me here and do this and do that. No, this is supposed to be fun. All you need to do is go back to the video where I announced this giveaway and I'll link it up here or here so that you can easily find it. Watch that video, like, comment, and subscribe and drop a comment as to which one of these beauties you would like to have as a potential giveaway winner. It is that simple. One bag her winner announced today is the final day that you can cast your decision in the comment section of that video regarding which bag you want the giveaway closes today so you have until midnight in order to get in what it is that you would like and after that the giveaway will be closed because the lucky two winners will be announced next Sunday, July the 21st. It is that simple. It's 50-50 for everybody. So why not just enter, subscribe, because there are more things to come. So if you don't win this go around, there's gonna be some other times, trust me, because there are some things in the works. I wanna wish you all good luck. Okay, let's get into it. These run, don't walk things I have to share and show with you. I love bringing things to your attention because it amazes me. And I know if it amazes me, when I share it with you guys, you're probably gonna want it. So I want you to have the opportunity to go and get it. First thing that I want to show you, I picked up from the Dollar Tree. Let me tell you why I picked this particular thing up. By first going here, a broken Chanel compact. I purchased this compact on Chanel.com four years ago. It is a beautiful black compact, but incredibly delicate. I'm gonna hold it up so you can see it is cracked. When I open this, I'm not gonna let it go because it's gonna come off if I do. The only reason why I still have it is because it is beautiful, sleek. So that leads me to this double-sided compact mirror in beautiful Tiffany blue. When I tell you I saw this, you guys, it just rang bells. I was like, oh, you, you, you need to get this and you need to share this with the fam. This comes in this Tiffany blue color, lavender color, and it also comes in pink. For me, it was a toss up between the pink and the blue. Let me turn this around so that you can see the border on this is a gold tone. I did not take it out of the packaging. I wanted you guys to be able to screenshot this. If you see this in your Dollar Tree, please pick this up. I cannot wait to take this out of its package and use this and put Chanel to bed. Run, don't walk together. Another thing that I picked up from the Dollar Tree, I am sure you guys like me love to use eye makeup, eyeliner, mascara, the whole nine yards. But what happens if you paint outside the lines? That means you have to fight with your fingers to try and get it off. Messy, yes. Problematic, absolutely. Please go pick this up. This is a makeup correcting gel pen. If you paint outside the lines, this will clean it up. It's infused with moisturizing vitamin E and it instantly corrects makeup mistakes on brows, eyes, and lips. This 
is going to be a lifesaver. Oh, run, don't walk, and pick. Next is coming from my favorite place, my East Coast girlies. You already know I am going to drop one about Gabe's, formerly Gabriel Brothers. This is the time of year where I begin to start thinking about fall and what I'm going to be wearing for fall. Now, last year, I picked up a faux moto jacket with a shearling inside quote quote it was black on black and i absolutely love it but i wanted a contrast faux shearling jacket an item that landed there from altered state this adorable jacket rang in at 16 dollars 99 i'm gonna stand up so you can see it it fits amazing the perfect thing that I was looking for for fall. If you have a Gabe's near you, run, don't walk, because they have started dropping some of their fall pieces, and I am very happy I found this jacket because I am super excited to be able to wear it. All right, next up. Five Below is a very random place. Sometimes you go in there and it's a hit. Sometimes you go in there and it's like, okay, but I love Five Below because you never know what it is you can walk out of there with. I am a big fan of headphones. I love to wear headphones if I'm cleaning the house or if I'm working out. I like to have music going. Run, don't walk. Five Below and pick yourself up what they call skinny headphones. For $5.55, I'm going to put these on so that you can see. Sound quality on these, I'm going to give it a uh, 7.5 out of a 10. You're not gonna get Apple headphone quality, Bose headphone, you're not. What you're gonna get is enough to give you what you need if you're doing things that are, you know, come on, let's just be real. And they're cute. And look how thin these are. I saw these in black, which I wanted the black. The white, I think these also came in pink. And I also think they came in a pale purple lavender color. Five below. Run, don't walk to pick up these skinny headphones. Okay, moving on. Back to the Dollar Tree. Dinnerware. I love a good, simple place setting. I came across these plates. I picked up four of these. There are butterflies, there are flowers. Now this is not a full-size plate. Had I saw full-size plates, I would have also got four full-size plates. They're beautiful. And I can serve company and myself off of these gorgeous plates. Go to your local Dollar Tree and see if you can't find these. If you find the large plates, let me know. Run, don't walk to pick these up. Last two things on Run Don't Walk. I have to stay highly moisturized, especially in the winter time because I get ashy. I wash my hands and my hands tend to feel a little bit dry. I like to have something to put on my hands. Nivea is one of my favorite hand lotions, body lotions. I love how this comes nicely, safely packaged. So screenshot this if you're interested in it. It fits right in the palm of your hands. Love this. Last thing on the run, don't walk, a pair of sunglasses. Dollar Tree, notorious for some serious sunglasses. If you take your time and look, I picked these all smoke gray sunglasses done. If you are in the Dollar Tree, please go check out their sunglasses. These are everything. I just want you to see how smoked out they are. Run, don't walk. Check your Dollar Tree to see if you can't pick these up. Run, don't walk leads us to a sidebar conversation. I want to be diplomatic. This is not inclusive of all salespersons. Some salespersons that don't know boundaries. Let me just set this up for you. Three weeks ago, I decided I wanted to start looking for a pair of loafers. I find myself in the shoe department there. I'm looking around, looking at shoes. I'm not gonna say the store that I was in. At that point, there is no salesperson in my vicinity. I'm just enjoying myself. I'm looking at the loafers, the offerings, considering some things up in my head, just looking. So I pick up a particular loafer and across the shoe department, I hear, those are 1,200 and whatever dollars. And I'm like, standing there, 
And I'm like, wait, I know I didn't just hear what I just heard. I ignore it, thinking, okay, maybe they're talking to somebody else. They couldn't possibly be talking to me. Put the shoe down, go on to the next. Not even a minute later, I pick up a boot. I'm browsing, you guys. You know, I'm all over the place. I'm trying to think about really loafers, but I'm sidetracked by boots. I hear this voice again in the distance go, those boots are 2,600. Okay. Let me do this. Let me turn him out. I didn't say anything. I put the boot down and I left the shoe department because I think it's rude. I'm not a fan of being in a high-end department store and somebody hollering across a shoe department floor to fill me in on a price that obviously I can truly see if I wanted to see. It lacks taste, it lacks respect. I didn't ask for a sidebar conversation or an interjection about, oh, this is this, oh, this is that, especially when it wasn't even warranted. I didn't ask for it. Therefore, I don't need it. And if it was really serious and you really, 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 you really wanted to help me, you would have approached me and said, excuse me, is there something that I can help you with? Don't cat call me. Don't call out and think I'm supposed to assume that you're talking to me. Because even if it was me you're talking to or were or thought or assumed you were talking to, no, you weren't. You weren't talking to me. Okay? If I pick something up and I'm looking at something, I think I could see if I wanted to know how much something was. I could either look at the shoe or I could directly ask. You guys, I really want your feelings and opinions. I want to know if that's ever happened to you, where you happen to reach for something and then all of a sudden you hear this interjection, oh, that bag is 4860 I didn't ask you. I did not ask you. And I want to know, am I the only person who's experienced that? This isn't about anything other than respect. Respect me and respect the fact that if I need you for something, I'm going to ask you. And I'm going to ask you respectfully. I'm not going to approach you any kind of way. Or I'm not going to call out to you from 10,000 feet away. Hey, can you help me? I'm not going to do that. Respect begets respect. I just want to know, you guys, your thoughts. If that's ever happened to you in any scenario, whether you were looking at shoes, clothes, bags, whatever, has that ever happened to you? And if it did happen, what did you do about it? Because I simply walked off. If you do not want to miss out on anything that I post, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I post videos every Sunday. So if you do not want to miss out, you know what to do. Tap that and you'll receive notifications each time I post a new video. Links to my socials will be listed in the description box below. You can head on over to Poshmark, check out my closet. I am Concrete Catwalk on Poshmark. If you see anything there you're interested in, feel free to leave me a message there or you can head on over to Instagram. I am the Catwalks Concrete on IG. Feel free to DM me there if there is anything in my Poshmark closet you're interested in, feel free to message me there as well. Today is the last day that you can enter yourself into this giveaway for one of the two Chanel 19s, either the beige or the black. Thank you so much, you guys, for stopping by this week. Be safe. See you all next Sunday. Bye for now.